Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the Kerensky Redux series. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 16. Alright, we know what we have to do next and this is going to be very difficult. Uh, I want to get as much reputation with the pirates as I can. You can see it's 8 and minus 6. You can see how much of a penalty we take by doing this. Thank goodness we want to tank Canopus and this gets us 13. But this is still going to be really, really difficult. I need my best pilot in this Thunderbolt because uh, I need the best gunner because making sure that the auto cannon fives actually hit. Uh, well, actually, I had my best pilot in there. Making sure that the auto cannon fives actually hit is going to be really, really important. And same thing here. I need this auto cannon ten to hit. So uh, we're going to do this, but this is not. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Um, Hmm, I'm thinking about one other thing. Jump jets here. Getting these cars destroyed is going to be tough. The, the reason I'm concerned is because of this Martian map. I know what it's like and I know how it works. And it's just, ugh, we're so outgunned here. This is going to be really, really hard. Especially without a mobile mech. I almost want to take the fire starter with me. I almost feel like it's going to be the the cog that we need. I want to take the machine gun one with me, I think. I think I'm going to do that. Except that, yeah, and he's got sensor lock. Okay, let's switch you guys around. Let's do this. I'm agonizing over this because I just I know how hard this damn map is it's different when you're running it with assault class mechs you can well this could be one of two maps but with either one of these maps one of them has better cover than the other one but when you're running this at four and a half skulls which I just recently was when I finished my Kerensky run it makes it easier because it takes the, because the enemy mechs can't rush you but at the lower levels, they can, and it kind of stinks. Yeah, and so this is that map. It's the same map we just did not too long ago. And here's the problem. is If you want to stay in cover, the cover is up here. On the other right, the cover's right here, and it kind of goes up to this little lip here. This cover's bad, as we explained before, because reinforcements are going to come from that direction. So we don't really want to go out there, even though that's exactly where the cars are going to go. Um, On my way. I'm thinking about moving. I don't know who's going to be doing the shooting is the thing. I got an idea here, though. I got an idea because I know that when, as I move my big fat mech up here... It's going to suck people up into it. And I think what I want to do, I want my enforcer over here because I want to be able to shoot cars. Right now I'm going to leave it here. Moving to position. They're going to come for my fat guy. And they're going to want to get close and punch him and circle around behind him and all that stuff. I think if we hang some max back, we might get some easy shots. We might get some easy shots and backs. So there's a 55 ton mech and a 55 ton mech. Okay, that's probably a couple of griffins. Uh, a 45 ton mech is either a blackjack or a phoenix. There's a 60 ton car. So if I move my thunderbolt to here, I'm not going to move him all the way up so he can see. I don't want him. I don't want them to get free shots just yet. Roger that. Okay, now Ready for order. What I should have done is sensor lock these guys. Show me what do we got? You got one vehicle you can sensor lock? I've got a sensor lock. Command to core. What do you need? Okay, just stay. Now this oh, yeah. this might work. Yeah, see, he's already running. Okay, bring your griffins to me. And he did. 
and is vindicated. Okay, we have to kill him because he can shoot at my left arm. So that's that's the first thing that has to go. Let's reserve one more. The next thing that's going to move in slot two is going to be a car. I want to see if my AC-10 guy can shoot that first car that's out there in the lead. So, can you get out there and shoot that guy in the lead? You can't. You're going to have to race out there. Okay, what do you need to shoot him? You're in a pretty good shot to shoot him, though. Okay. I think I'm going to vigilance myself because I'm out in the open. can't get that first car, we can't let that first car get away, and the only person that has a chance to shoot at it really is the big guy to get up here in the slope and shoot at him. So, okay, this has a chance to shoot at multiple things. Let's have him shoot at this. Let's see. Oh, he can split, though. How hot is it if he splits? Ah, it's pretty hot. Take one evasion off is all we really need to do. Okay, that helps. This little dude right here. He's the... He's the magic man. Okay. These things don't have a lot of armor. They got half their armor. You got a big chance here to make a big payday. Okay, he should be able to kill him next turn. I would think. So, if I get up there, I still can't see that guy. I can't see him. All I can really do is shoot at this bozo. Confirmed. So, shoot at him. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay. Now the cars are going to move. That car's trying to get away. This guy's going to finish the job right here. Fire it all. That fire starter is still kind of worth its weight in gold, isn't it? Oh, he's got a shadow hop. Okay. That's good. He went down on the ground. I mean, this other guy did. We don't have to worry about him. We have to get out here. Um, jumping is not going to work. Sprinting will get you close. So what if we move? Uh, it's, we're going to be too far away. We're going to have to sprint after this guy. I don't want to be turned that way. So we have to do this. You've got to catch that guy. He gets away, we're screwed. <clears throat> oh no. Oh my god, right in my backside. Oh, that's not good. Internal structure damage. Dang it. Okay. Well, that sucks. On my way. Wow. Hmm. Shoot this guy in the back. Okay. That hit something good. Get myself exposed like that. That's bad. I didn't think he'd get up and do that. And now the other guy's going to have a chance to swoop around behind us, so we're going to have to take care of him as soon as we can. Alright. I'd like to kill those things, but killing these things is more important. So you can be killed by this little guy. And plus, I, I, uh, let's see. My little guy is going to get a chance to move. Let's do that. Reporting critical yeah, let's do that. That's bad. 75 out of 105 internal. Oof, that's really bad. 
Okay. It's gonna make me a little hot. Wait, where's he most damaged at? He's most damaged on his right side? Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Well. If I just move up here. And plow him in the face. Once again, little Flamey is doing his job, and he backs up instead of trying to get behind me, so that's great. Okay. Now, it's time for him. Yep. It's time for him to do his job. Commander. What do you got here? Your what are you to hit him if you go right there? AC-10. Wow. Stay protected, buddy. Okay, that's one. We gotta worry about reinforcements coming on number two, so that's that's a problem. But now our big guy should be able to start getting these two slow slackers down from behind, which should give us a chance to be in a little better position here. Nail him. take my evasion away and that's understandable but now I can do this I'm gonna shoot this guy first now all we have to worry about is cops which means we should be able to get our enforcer out of the way first we don't want those guys to get a free shot at his back okay I need to reserve this much. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, he can see him. What is this? It's a bulldog. I also want you to sensor lock that guy. He's 35 tons. He'll get out of there faster. Okay, and I want yes, you. you. You can only shoot on the flat, right? You, in case you have to stomp on anyone. Onward. Yeah, bulldogs are tough. There's a strike hit. And there's a head hit, of course. So, what's this other fat thing over here? A manticore. It's got a PPC and an LRM-10. This has SRMs. Okay. So here's the thing. You want to shoot at the vehicle that hasn't gone yet, but both of these haven't gone. So he's going to get a go, and this is going to get a go. I'd probably rather take that one out. Oh, this sucks. We're hot. Okay, shoot both of these. Not happening. Locked. Shoot at me. Okay, next turn, hopefully more people get a shoot. Light damage, Commander. You, my friend, can you dodge ball down into here? Yeah, you can. Okay, who do you got? You got the bulldog. You got the little guy. He's got 397 armor. He's got. Oh yeah, kill this guy. Stop shooting machine guns into the dirt. Jesus Christ, man. This, like, try not to suck. That would be great. Holy cow. Okay, reinforcements didn't show up. We're safe. We can just run over guys now. Um, I really want him to run up there and squash that guy. So let's do this. Vigilance. It's always the reinforcements I gotta worry about. Okay. 
Let's, and he didn't miss his step this time. That's nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Ready now, can you see it? You can't see it yet. Okay. In that case, the Moving best out. thing for me might be to just be cool this turn. He's going to get up there and he's going to get to shoot his PPC at us. We got a lot of damage reduction. Can you just finish him off? Oh, we couldn't. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Right, Commander. It did a lot of damage, but it didn't do enough. Oh my God, are you just? Get your lance wow. To LZ, Commander. He's like still on. missing. Oof. Okay, a little internal structure damage to the back of our Thunderbolt. Not good, but not the end of the world. Oof. And a bunch of Griffins and Shadowhawks and things like that. That's nice. It's nice for us. It's nice to still walk away with three mech parts after taking all faction. That was pretty cool. I like that plan, though. I'm not sure I've ever quite done it that way, and that worked out really good. Um, Shadowhawk. Yeah, I'd rather have the Shadowhawk than that useless assassin. Let's do that. So one mission left, and then we took another headshot, so we're, sh headshot, so we're short another pilot. The warning problem, ambush a convoy, going to be on the same map, I'm certain. So, against the planetary government. Um, let's see what we can do. This is getting more brutal by the minute. Uh, okay. Don't get the Thunderbolt caught from behind here. More firepower than that. I recommend that we field some heavier mechs and hold off on this mission until we can find some. So Darius is telling us that what that means is there's going to be multiple heavies here. Hmm. Okay. I remember during my last last uh, run when I actually got Kerensky he did that one time and I obeyed him um, fire for effect is against the planetary government who's this against pirates so we're not going to take it all right let's do target acquisition then and get out of here Martian surface target acquisition uh, here we can take all money I don't expect to it's 441,000 and you get four mech pieces I don't think we're going to kill four mech pieces worth of stuff but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a 312 and a 624 which is pretty good this this mission stinks um, there's no other way to put it <laughs> this this mission is terrible um, what do I want to do here the fire starter as much as I love it, and I do love it, I, at two and a half skulls, are we still going to get mechs that are weak in the back? You might. You, you, you may have that happen. Here's what we need, first of all. We have to have the Phoenix Hawk. Now, the question is, what do we do with everybody else? Um... Chrome can be in here. Yeah, this is going to be tough. These missions are always tough. So, these guys can shoot a long way. He can shoot a long way. Nothing is ever going to get in their backside, I don't think. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to take something else other than a forcer. Here's the problem with the map that's coming up is... Getting the fire started behind anybody to shoot them is going to be really hard because of the mass of vehicles that are going to come out. So three of these mechs are just going to kind of move and shoot as they go, and the Phoenix Hawk is going to run around and and position itself on the points. So I kind of need durable mechs is what I really need. And this guy isn't too durable at 760. This is 880. Um, this Shadow Hawk is 960, which is actually really durable compared to that blackjack so I like these I like the auto cannons this is nice but 
the overall damage for this auto cannon is what? 25 times 2. So it does 50 and 50, which is 100. And this does, what, 45 and an LRM 10, which each turn is going to get you 40. So it's almost 100, and it's more durable. So I'm going to take that. And then the Enforcer with the auto cannon. It's just got a straight auto cannon 10 for a damage of 60. And two lasers. It doesn't even have, okay, here's what we're going to do. It doesn't even have missiles. So your alternative there is to go with a Griffin, which can shoot a PPC and it has an LRM-10 for uh, a good amount of time. The PPC is going to get really hot, though. Or you'd go with this configuration. Um, I kind of like this. This this should work. And who's my best pilot? Who can actually go the furthest? Who can go the furthest? This person in a sensor lock. Okay, it's just going to have to be tailgate. She's a better pilot, though. That's the problem. I've got the wrong pilot in the wrong place. I'm going to do this. i got to have the better pilot. She's got to be able to go really, really far. Okay, last mission for the system, then. Oh, spooky. Just don't quite yet have the mechs to do that. That's interesting. He gave me three skulls, and he said, yeah, you might not have what it takes to do this. Um... What that means is you'd be facing some heavies and I'll bet you they all have full armor. So it's not, we got lucky on the last one because those guys had half armor and that allowed our fire starter to take out their backsides. But there's that same group of mechs and pilots could not have taken heavies with full armor. No way, Jose. <laughs> so now if we had a grasshopper, Command different story. All right. Yep. So he's. It's. This is the artillery strike one, which is really nice. Yeah. So this is the only map in the Martian surface that does target acquisition. And here wow. is the basic problem: you're going to swoop around here with your three heavy mix. And then this guy is going to come up here and do this. And you're going to be one of spending your resolve to protect this mech. He's probably going to come out of here with a missing arm, if I know this mission at all. I've done this so many times, and this is the one mission that causes me to to uh, to take wounds. There's some cover over here, which is really nice, but it doesn't do you a lot of good because you got to get a mech over here, and the problem is. Tons of cars and things flood out of here, and there are a bunch of mechs up here. So as you're trying to weasel your way up here, you're trying to come out of cover and come into this thing. And it's just, it's almost like somebody has to be the sacrificial lamb every single time. And it's kind of sad. All right. Okay, somebody's got to go up there, spend a turn getting pummeled, and then eject. Really is the way I've done it in the past with a lot of different configurations. Even with assault mechs, it gets really hard because it's just hard to mow down the number of mechs that you need to mow down every turn. Ready for so him, he can jump up here, which is nice. It makes him a little hot. Uh, Affirmative. And then you got to hope that he goes early next turn before everybody else. What do we have here? We got a crab, javelin, javelin, locust. Let's see braces. Three people are going to get shots at him before he even has a chance to move. It's just going to stink. And each one takes a piece of evasion off, so then the next subsequent shot has a higher chance of doing damage. And before you know it, he's hurt. So, but this is... This is how you got to do it. At least this is how I... This is the only way I figured out how to do this one. Okay. He's there... There's one more guy left to shoot. Who is it going to be? It's a three. It's the crab. I'm going to let the crab shoot, and then I'm going to move him. Okay, he missed, which is great. And then there's two cars. Now, I can get way more evasion here. If I do this. So the next one is way over here. So what I like to do is jump, and I like jumping because it lets you turn around and face. 
And then, if we want to go early next turn, we hit Vigilance, and then we Brace, and then we get ready to get the hell out of there. What makes this suck is if any of these guys shoot uh, the heat missiles. <laughs> Those stink. Alright, so I am a fat boy, I'm living in a fat world here, and I'm going to try to kill this thing. Nice, that worked. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So then what I can do is take this dude and sprint him up into cover. Pedal to the metal. And I can take him and he's got some Automated. missiles so he can shoot at somebody. At least trying to get their attention. Since this is two and a half skull, it looks like they're not going to throw quite as many mechs at you as the pilot. That sucks, though. We want to kill that thing as soon as we can. And that car is going up around that direction. So, he's got four evasion. I want to let little guy shoot at him. Because he shouldn't be able to do a whole lot of damage to him. Remember, we maxed out his armor pretty much. Gave him jump jets, maxed out his armor, and said, don't worry about shooting. Okay, he's got one more guy that can shoot at him, and then we can move him. Okay, now you're ready to move. And he's getting hot, so we only have a few more jumps in us before we, before we have to stop jumping. So, we can run over here. If we sprint over here... We get, a, we get a lot further. Okay. Alright, in that case, when's this car going to go? I can't get facing the way that I want to, though. I don't want it to get behind me, is the thing. Let's move. It goes in slot one, though. What is it? Getting the angle on me. Yeah, I know. That's why I like to jump one more time there, but I was trying not to, trying to save some heat. It's an SRM carrier. We have to destroy that. Yeah. Yep, and you got a really good shot at it. So make it happen. What can I do for you? Roger, Commander. I've got the shot. Okay, that you saves like us that? a little bit because this is SRM carriers are nasty. They got all those dumb fires and they just do whatever they want. Okay, stay cool. This isn't looking too bad. We may be able to get the Phoenix Hot to take all three of these, which would be fantastic. Alright, so jump down here. Let's see, I've had problems with the edges before, so we're going to do this. Okay. Can any of you guys who's got sensor lock? You do, blackjack. Alright, do this. Take that. There's the LRM carrier. Can you manage to get a poke on that thing? Waiting for order. You shoot it? That would be great. I wish that last government mission wasn't against the pirates. I wish it was against the Magistry of Cannabis. That would have been nice. Get one more mission out of this system, but... Sadly, we took a little bit of salvage here, and, and it's not going to matter. Oh, he can't quite get there. He can get there sprinting, though. Vigilance, sprint. Understood. Moving fast. Okay. Now, can you guys kill this thing? Yep. And we can go home. Alright. I'd like to kill that crab and take its parts. So, your exit point is going to be 
somewhere over here somewhere over here somewhere over here so I want to get my you have to get your camera position to watch this and there's a mech there's two mechs really close by oh man let's see if this if they blow this oh it takes a turn for them to blow this thing up though that's the sad thing it doesn't happen right now these guys are gonna get a chance to move out of here I want to see where they move to are they gonna get out yeah rats okay well in that case there's your exit point if I jump him there he's slightly out of range so if I just let's see I don't want to sprint I just want to move I need some salvage, man. Oh, he doesn't have sensor lock. Oh, rats. Okay. Orders. You what do, though. You? you have sensor lock. Uh -huh. He's on the cusp. Oh, rats. Okay. Yep. Alright, well. There is one. Commander. One thing that we can make. There's, there's going to be a, a team of mechs showing up, too. Incoming artillery fire. Oh, here comes the locust. There's gonna be a team of mechs gonna be in a kill team that'll land. They might have a nice mech that might make it worthwhile for us to stick around and try to fight. Um, Good to go. Roger. In the meanwhile, we'll, in the meantime, we'll make our way over to the exit point. There's the crab. Okay. This guy. Let's see. How far away can you be and still get him? He's outside your zone right there, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, he is. So all you can do is attack that little ombre. Trust me, he's gonna uh, stay down. Alright, plant yourself. Ready for order. Well. Oh, come on, show it to me. Is it gonna get that crab? Is it close enough? I can't. I wish the camera would just automatically center on that thing. But it doesn't. I see that that crab is still there. I want to see if he comes closer. Alright. Little guy here. Can you see? Yep, he's right there. Oh, you still don't. I'm still What's messed up here. What about you? You can see him right there. What about from right there? Yep. Central lock. Okay, we have a crab. He's got full armor. Standing by. Put ourselves close in case things get dangerous. We can just evac. Let's see if I can pick up some crab parts, though. Precision strike. What are the odds of hitting him ahead? 5%. Might be able to kill him and get some salvage before the kill team shows up. Let's see him move. Oh, he's going to move right up here on us. Oh, and he's going to hit. Wow. Sparky. Well, let's see. Phoenix. We're going to put the Phoenix here so he's ready to go. He's going to large laser to take one of those off. Two rounds for enemy reinforcements to arrive. All four of you guys have to be in the exit before you'll evac, so as long as you got one outside the exit, you're safe. You got a couple of precise strikes here. Is 
say time to die, but I don't know. I'm not seeing it yet. Nail him. Inflicted some heavy damage. Alright, where is he looking at? Oh, something's showing up. It's one of the javelins. Okay, as long as I don't take too much damage, we're good. Light damage. Holding firm. Yeah, here they come. I wish they would have been on that building. Jerks. Okay, let's see if we can kill this mech. We're going to shoot at him with precise strike to push him back so that our big guy has a chance to finish him off. Uh, let's try to kill his legs. He's got how much Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's dead, Jim. Jim, he's dead. Can we get the locust? Yeah, he's in range. Let's let our big guy... Well... No, our big guy's not going to get a chance to shoot, is he? As soon as he moves in, he, he's not going to get a chance to shoot. He will evac. Well, Damn it. it's probably smart to just evac. So, let's do it. Off we go. Last mission. I don't feel too bad. It didn't quite go the way I wanted to. I was hoping that we would get that second pirate mission. But mission successful. It is what it is. It's a step in the right direction. And we know we got like four more systems that are going to be really helpful. So there's the crab. Do we have anything in here that's really awesome, beneficial to us? Nope. So in that case, I'm going to take that short laser. Those things are really valuable for me personally. They're not by cash value compared to everything else. They're just valuable for what I like to do with the grasshoppers and the fire starters and some other mechs. And like I like to put them on my atlases because atlases tend to be out in front and they often get punched and do punching so all right so this is where we're at we can't do this even darius says we're we're under mech for that and this goes against the pirates so we want to do, don't want to do it as far as our faction reputation goes the pirates are now at minus three which is good um we should be able to bump that up here pretty soon capella needs to go up some more in the mech bay some basic repairs are in order. We have a Shadowhawk. Uh, so let's move the Thunderbolt up. Like I said, that Centurion may never see the light of day. This Shadowhawk we can arm. We have a bunch of different options for it. strip some armor off of this thing give our chance okay so 0.5 that could be interesting all right what do we have for ballistics we do have an ultra auto cannon five what how much is an ultra auto cannon 10 weight 13 tons yeah you can't fit them on there 60 times two man that's massive i mean that's all he'd be able to shoot <laughs> all he'd be able to shoot is that ultra auto cannon 10 boy if he hit anything with it though oh my gosh that's a thought what are the ultra auto cannon fives again they weigh nine yeah you gotta have something big to put those on this is this would be quite the tank wouldn't it so if you took this and put a short laser there and then you'd still need ammo and you'd need a lot of ammo. Oh, and we only have one. So you have to buy a couple more. Ammo. Ultra Auto Cannon 10 ammo. New equipment available. Okay. So if you did that, that makes him... It gives him one weapon. He's basically like a uh, Hunchback 4G that shoots the AC-20. It's kind of awesome. How much ammo is that? How many shots does he get? He gets 16 total shots. I'm going to try it. Alright, let's go back to the store. Then. I'm like, oh, let's go look at the hiring hall. Remember, we had to fire a couple of people because we got things wrong. Yeah, because of this. Sure footing. I don't want sure footing. Don't care about it. So, there is a crab. It's a piece of a crab. 
Jenner, Phoenix Hawk, Quick Draw, Urban Mech. And here's the other thing. You do want to start buying these Urban Mech parts. This is one way to acquire them. Urban Mechs can be kind of hard to come up with. And I say that because, as you can see, it's the UMR60, and sometimes people, for whatever reason, people have a hard time coming up with this mech. I think it's because you don't face a lot of them out in the field. So I tend to just gobble up the parts as I see them. And remember, later on in the game, when we get to, like, you know, 20 million in the bank account, and we kind of have what we want, I tend to just buy all these parts. So just by doing that, you end up getting all these mechs. Um, there's a quick draw here. We don't have a piece of that. There's another victor. Don't have a piece of that. Coil S's. Coils are neat, but really the only mech that I've ever found that they work in is a Phoenix because it can move far enough to make them worthwhile. And again, if you that would be the one time when having a, a, a pilot of a certain degree with certain skills works. But I, I've never really found them to be all that worth it. Oh, I do want to buy that, though. New weapon systems available. And there's nothing else really interesting in this planet. So... With all of that done, and the mech base secure, nice to see you down here and home. engineering is doing what? What are we working on? Ship upgrades, power con, it's 22 days. So if we take a look at navigation, where are we going to go next? From here. So the way we want to go through this, and I'll probably show this on the colorized map, is you want to go to Cygnus first, and then to Spencer, and then to Urkirin, and then Belafron. Um, and the reason for that is because you can't go from Belafron to Urkruin through as a through path, but you can go the other way. So the first thing we'll do is plot this course so that we can stop at Cygnus and take the three days in and hope that um, Calculating course now, there's a bunch of good contracts there for us. So we leave two contracts behind on this planet. want to make sure... The Shadowhawk, yeah, I want him ahead of that. The Griffin is three days. How many? Four days, ten days. I bet we can get this Shadowhawk, and I'd rather have it than that Griffin. Okay, let's see how this works. I always let them keep working on it. Sometimes they give it an auto cannon. She's fiddling with a stock auto cannon. No lasting consequences. Sometimes you get a AC plus out of it, which is always nice. The Thunderbolt is repaired. Crack shot is back. The Black Jack is about to be repaired. I'm anxious to see what that Shadowhawk is like shooting that weapon. It could be really awesome. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What's this? We're not going to get it before we get to the system, though, are we? Archer, Banshee, Blackjacks, Commandos, Jenners, Quick Draws, and a Shadowhawk. A bunch of auto cannons, but they're just plus weapons. And what do their contracts look like? We do have to check, just in case they're, for some reason, awful. Um, you do want to check. So, a bunch of stuff we should be able to do. This is against what? Against the planetary government. I wish it would just say, you have to read these, against the local government, there's one for the pirates, Canopian, so this will be the Magistry of Canopus, which is good, Magistry of Canopus, B-Team is against two, this one's hard, local defense forks, so that should be planetary government, and reposition against Magistry of Canopus, they're all perfect missions for us, faction-wise, so yeah, you you got to you're not gonna get the Shadowhawk, it takes three days to get in. So you gotta do this. You gotta switch them. Darn, it's too bad. Or we needed one more day. <clears throat> we needed one more day. We're gonna have to wait to see what that Shadowhawk is like. This should be fun though. There it is. Maximum efficient use of your time. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the contracts then. Let's see what we want to do first. I think I want to do this pirate one first. I think this might be one where we do again. Uh, well, it says max reputation seven, so we'll take a look at it. All right, so this should be an easy mission for us. P 
pirates, it's recovery. If we just take the cash, it's 302 and it's four points, which it pushes just above zero with them. Or we can do this for seven, um, considering how much I want to push their faction up. Wow, the different, it's three points for $300,000. I'm going to take the cash. <clears throat> if I can, I think my personal threshold is. If you can, if you're going to take all faction and it gets you above ten, then it's worth doing. If it's below that, take the cash. I think is how I feel about that. Um, it's pole region. I'm going to be able to take a fire starter here. All right. So crack shot, you're awesome, but you're going to hang out and wait for the tougher missions. Uh, Beaker, I'd like to have somebody who can split a little bit. Why don't you switch with this person? Actually, no, we'll keep you there. You need to shoot all this stuff into the same thing anyway. So I need a sensor lock person in this. And I like the looks of this. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. It's a little disappointing that this is the only Myra only mission for the pirates in this system only myrit only myrit the only mission for the pirates in this system but at least none of the other missions were against the pirates so that helps and again we have like three four other systems still to go through here before we get out of this loop so there is only one thing this 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 map is really common for this mission type, for recovery. <clears throat> and I see this one a lot when I'm with the assault mechs toward the end of the game, so I've, I've looked at this one a lot. And there's our mechs. And let's see. We got a cicada? What else do we have? Some people make some moves here. We got some medium mix gonna run up here on us. Let's see what the quality of our opponent is here. Fully, full armor. Okay, 55 ton mech. Probably a Griffin. Could be a Shadowhawk. Minimal damage on that hit. 55 ton mech over there. I'm going to send this guy over here. In fact, uh, can you get an eye on the sky in there? Oh, it's a Kentaro. Oh, it's my favorite medium mech. Oh my gosh, we can make a record with this thing. Okay. Oh, dang. Can I get anybody over there to shoot at it at this angle? Or am I just better off doing this? Let's sensor lock this piece of junk and kill it first. Kentaros are awesome. You just load them up with short range missiles. The computer doesn't know how to build them. It's got a combination of stuff. Forget that. LRM5. Blah. Get it off of there. All I do is load it up with as many short range missiles as I can fit on it. And then it's just a beast. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. You just run it up to things and have it shoot it in the face. It just kills things dead. It's awesome. I love that machine. Absolutely. You missing with an 80% chance to shoot is really embarrassing. See, he's got all that. Okay, let's do this. Shoot it all. It's a cicada. Come on, man. It's got 40% damage reduction. That's why it's not playing like a cicada. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to run out here in the open and be angry. Okay. I want a chance to leg this Kentaro twice. Standing by. Yep. Oh, I'm going to get it, too. See, look at him. And that's not even assembled the way he should be. And if you make sure that all of his short-range missiles... 
if you make sure that all of his short range missiles also have stability damage on him, you can put mechs on their back really quick. He's a Shadowhawk, and that's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay. Ready for orders. This Shadowhawk, on the other hand, I'd like to kill that guy. His AC is, is going to hurt. Um, I'm trying to take some evasion off of the Kentaro here so that when my little guy comes over here, I can leg him real good. <coughs> you can also split. So do it. Let's see. I only need one on him. Put a laser on him to take a piece of evasion off. Okay, that helps. Now, little dude. What can you... You can shoot everything at him. Oh, man. Okay. I would love to specifically use Precision Strike, but in order to make sure my Thunderbolt doesn't fall down, I'm going to have to use uh, Vigilance. So, just do your best. <clears throat> okay, that was nice. Now. Standing by. Okay, that got rid of all of it. That's good. Um, I still might want to use Vigilance. What does this thing look like? Yeah, I'm going to use Vigilance. It's also going to move me up. destroyed that was nice wow In my wildest dreams I don't think I've ever had that happen okay just do it again now his leg is hurt and he got another head hit he's not liking that oh, he goes after my black chip losing armor reporting minimal damage yeah, what do you got? Hit that leg. That hurt. He's still got his AC though. You can move. Give yourself some stability. What do you got here? He doesn't have a lot left in the center. And what's your angle on him? Oh, and he's hot too, which is nice. Okay. Shoot this guy. Then. Yeah, kill. Kill. <gasps> How did you miss again? It's like you're the worst. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh -huh. Okay, can you get his leg now, finally? He's shooting up at him. Firing. Because these dingbats couldn't get him dead already. What's he got left? I'm ready for order. Oh yeah. You can kill him. Ah. Little, little damage there. Not a fan. Happened. Here we go. All right. Very good. First mission done. They got a Kentaro though. Oh man, I wish that's one of those times when you wish you would have taken the mech parts. You wish you would have taken the salvage because there it is. There's three Kentaro pieces. Oh. oh, and we only get one of them. 
I could have had a full Kentaro. Man, it's just, especially on cold worlds, and especially if you have stability damage, short range missiles, it's just the best. It can it can come close to knocking something down with one round of of uh, of shooting. If it just alpha strikes, it can come close to knocking something down. So this person, okay. So this is what I was talking about earlier. We don't have anybody who has this yet, do we? No. And this allows them to move earlier. So I have I've, I've explained this before, but what I like to do is have a couple of these people, a couple of these set up like this, taking that so that they can... Uh, coolant vent is something I use a lot, especially in Martian biomes and things like that. It's really nice to be able to fire that off and get a couple more rounds of shooting in and finish enemies off. But the other really nice thing to have is if you're not going to be running on a Martian biome, I mean, you make this person... These people run my Marauders. If they have sensor lock, they run my Marauders. And being able to move in the same stage, in the same turn that medium mechs do, allows you to headshot heavy mechs before they can shoot at you. Um, it's really nice because what you can do is you can reserve, let the heavy mech move, reserve, shoot at it with your Marauder, and if you don't kill it with the first headshot, you usually do some damage to its head, and then you get to shoot at it again before it moves, before it gets a chance to shoot or move again. So this is super effective, and that's why I'm going to take that. Uh, we're getting her ready to shoot the Marauder. This person here, I don't have anybody yet who has uh, heat. I've got one. I've got this one person up here that has breaching shot. So I'm going to make her chrome. I'm going to get her ready to take that. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, crack shot. Let's see. You get better sprinting there, plus two health. Or I just get you closer to a called shot bonus. I'm gonna do this. Training complete. Good Fang doesn't have any points. Yeah, Fidos doesn't have any points. Flatline doesn't have any points. Yes, Lemonade. Lemonade. You guys gotta get some experience, but we'll get you there. So here's another one, another case of this. I'm gonna give this person breaching shot. Um, and let them drive a little better. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah, what let's can I see. Do for you? This person can shoot better. Can also get them. Let's see, yeah, shooting better right now is the most important thing, isn't it? Just shooting better. Just being I'm able here. to shoot. All right, contracts. And we come to the end of another episode. I'm your host, Colors Fade. If you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. My Patreon is listed in the description box below. And if you have a question or comment, leave it and I'll do my best to respond. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.